Hey there everybody, Boyd here with you. Well, I just wanted to make a quick video to announce a future project here on the Trekworks channel. As you can see in front of you, we've got this beautiful model of the Nautilus. I've just ordered this off of uh, CG Trader. I just want to point out real quick, guys, I, I believe they're having a sale over there now. It shows on the screen that this was a $59 kit, but I got this kit for $17.50 just a couple of days ago. I'm not sure why it's showing the different price now, but the sale might still be going on. They have they were they were running a special with basically 70% off of all of their uh, 3D models out there, and you guys kind of know what I'm leading to here. A couple of weeks ago, I um, made a little Facebook post where just after Christmas I got a uh, my first ever 3D printer. I got a AnyCubic Viper. It's a filament type printer. Uh, working with and talking to a lot of my modeling friends out there that have gotten pretty heavy into um, 3D printing. It sounds like I got a good machine, and um, I'm doing kind of a collaboration with my brother-in-law who's had a lot of experience 3D printing and he's got both a, a filament printer and a resin type printer and we're going to be kind of producing some parts together until we get this kit uh, fully printed out and then I'm going to build it here in the shop but uh, just kind of a little backstory here I've wanted to build a model of the Nautilus for probably since I was a kid and over the last four or five years I um, was looking at some of the resin kits that are out there there's uh, the 66 inch one that's made by several different manufacturers there's a couple little smaller ones but I could never kinda quite fit or find the exact one I was looking for the 66 inch makes a beautiful model and a lot of people build that into like an RC submarine and, and that wasn't really going to be an option for me and I was kinda thinking a little smaller maybe around three and a half four feet I could never find one that was exactly kinda the size I wanted and then when it came to the interior detail, either a lot of the kits didn't come with an interior at all or the interior that they do come with was kind of spotty as far as most of them weren't very accurate or very complete and um, they were kind of, you know, low resolution parts. They weren't very detailed. And so I was always looking for something that had a really accurate, you know, exterior but also a really accurate interior. I especially was interested in the salon area, you know, Nemo's kind of personal cabin that you can see when the bay windows on the sides of the ship are open and uh, you know he has some specific items in there his organ of course and then his little his little um, specimen collection you know in the little kind of stand he had in the middle and some specific furniture anyway also the detail up in the light or in the uh, wheelhouse which um, this model you'll I'll kind of scroll through some pictures here and you can see what I'm talking about this I was just uh, kind of really excited when I found this as I said and I'm venturing into a whole new area here with doing the 3D printing and so we're going on a little adventure here you guys. I'm going to show you the pl the, you know, the pros and the cons of the whole thing. I'm not going to skip over anything. My learning curve here is going to be uh, from ground zero basically. Luckily I've got some good modeling friends that can help me that have got experience and my brother-in-law is going to work with me. He's going to do all the uh, printing of the small little detail parts in uh, resin and so we you know have those turn out really nice and then we're going to kind of collaborate back and forth with our filament printers to produce the uh, hull pieces which um, we are going to have to deal with a little bit of um, you know the lines that you get from the printing but this ship is covered with rivets and it's also got a really kind of a rough um, you know kind of corroded paint job that goes on it so I think we're going to be able to hide a lot of that stuff I'm going to be using a couple techniques that I've been you know um, researching about how to make you know these I'm learning more about this. As you guys know, I'm working on the 3D printed Nomad, and and uh, you do find out that the um, PLA type uh, filament that you use for you know certain types of printing, it's not very sandable. In fact, it's not hardly sandable at all. And there there are you know optional ways of smoothing that out, including isopropyl alcohol, uh, different types of fillers, and things like that. But I'm just kind of you know, you got a choice on this model if you want to order it with or without the rivets. I decided to go with the rivets because, yeah, I could put all the rivets back, but that's a lot of rivets. And it also turns out that if you if you order the one without the rivets, you lose all the um, the plating segments that are on the ship as well. And so that means you'd have to scribe all that back in. And I really didn't want to go that far. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get this smoothed out and um, looking good with you know, especially with the type of paint job. As I mentioned with the Nomad I'm working on, you know, with those smooth metallic surfaces, you have to clean it up a lot better. But this ship was kind of, you know, uh, corroded and, you know, slightly barnacle covered on the bottom. And, and we can, you know, do a lot with that anyway. A lot of character goes into the paint job. But let me scroll through these, uh, some of these pictures for you. 
and you can see different renderings of the ship. Here's kind of an up close of the uh, wheelhouse and the detail. This is why I really decided to go for this kit, you guys. It's the most accurate Nautilus I've ever seen and the most completely detailed. Here's the uh, uh, sort of open bay window where you can see partly into the uh, salon area there. Kind of a back view. I love the stand that it comes with, too. Here's some detail on the top. Now, this is fully functional. The uh, the lifeboat there that you see at the back, that's a fully you know detailed separate model. You can display it with or without the... Uh, the covers on it, the vents, the dorsal vents, the hatch is all open. The dorsal vents are, are, are all hinged so they can be displayed um, open or closed, which is a really neat little feature. You can see they got the different, you can see it in different configurations there. The detail of the stairwell going down into the main crew quarters, that's all there. And of course, this is what really uh, set me in on this model, you guys. This is really accurate. You get all this detail inside the salon area. There's the famous Nemo organ, his little uh, specimen table there, the furniture. I mean, you can see how this was done originally. And here's kind of a blown up view of it. I can't remember, but there's quite a few parts to this kit. And we get into some more detail here. All the different hull sections. This model is designed to be lit. So you have little sockets, for example, for certain size LEDs. Uh, that go in like the little lights that are around the you know the bay windows. Here's some detail of the uh, the wheelhouse and the helm and all the uh, control levers and everything there are all really accurate. You got that even the nice tubing for the handrails, the spiral staircase going down. This is what I've been waiting for, and here's the detail as it's fully rendered with the nice grating on the deck surface there and everything. It's going to be really really cool. Here's the lifeboat. You can see it's fully detailed. The vents, you can see the pins there where the hinges work. The propeller. Kind of a neat setup. Some grading work on the top. Uh, we'll be printing all the, um, the, the clear parts in clear resin. And then doing a little polishing on those to get those really nice and glassy looking. Hopefully that all works out. Here's a blown up view of the uh, Salon area parts. And there's the stand. Detailed look at the organ itself. Another view of the exploded hull. And more of the hull. As you can see, guys, this is a really phenomenal kit. And um, what we've already done so far is we've uh, vectored this thing down to 65%. The kit in its 100% form is designed to build out to 66 inches so if you're gonna build it that way you're gonna need a large printer bed my um, Viper could handle this up to which has a 10 by 10 and a half bed it could handle up to uh, when we checked it on the uh, um, Cura system it, it, it would build up to 70 percent I think maybe just a hair a little more than that but I decided on 65 percent which will make this model right around three a little over three feet about three and a half feet and that'll be a really nice size. And the uh, test prints that we that we started doing um, are looking really promising as far as the uh, detail goes on the hull and everything. So I think it's going to be really cool. But I'm going to take you through on my end of learning how to 3D print here, you guys. So it's going to be a neat little kind of different approach. Um, and I literally know nothing. So I'm going to be sitting down recording my little sessions where I'm working with the software and and even when the prints fail and things like that, I think you guys that are trying to get into this yourselves might find this really interesting. But that's it for this one, you guys. Just a, a really exciting project. This is just a, a whole new frontier for me. And I hope to carry on into other things. I've got some great ideas for some um, little things I want to do to help modelers out there with bases and things like that. And these are things that I get asked all the time. So once I get this 3D printing figured out, I'll be designing some of my own little stuff um, little accessories here and there to help you with your modeling overall. I've just had some neat ideas that I've been kind of keeping in the back burner for a couple of years now, but I hope you guys are uh, be interested in checking this stuff out. It'll be a fun little thing to follow along with, like I said, if you're new to 3D printing. And believe me, I'm as uh, new as it gets to this. I'm an old guy that's trying some new technology, so that should be maybe, maybe tragic, maybe comical. <laughs> we'll just have to see you guys. All right, that's it. We'll catch you on the next video. Coming back soon with an update on the refit. 
and then some more on Nomad. See you then, everybody. Take care, and happy modeling.